You know, I believe that God has so sovereignly gathered us here. And James, you guys could not have led us into the throne room any better. Because, see, when you come to a place like Charleston, which is known for so many firsts, you have a choice. You can either step back in history or you can step into the future. And if we, uh, we, we find that lots of injustice, and all of a sudden out of the historical injustice of the past, we start doing war. What James did was said, all right, let's step into the future and worship. See, when you want to tear down a throne of iniquity, you have to start removing its blocks. And uh, Charleston shut gates to the freedom of what America represented. The shot that really was heard around the world that created division, the sound came from right here. So the only way you can reverse history is to bring a sound greater than the sound that came from earth. And I believe that's the way James is leading us. You don't war out of your iniquities. You war out of the redemptive blessings that were intended. And something happened when James got us up into a place and Leanne said uh, angels, north, south, no, yeah, you said north, south, east, and west. And all of a sudden I saw this, these angelic beings take their stand on the perimeter of America. Now, that's going to include the other side of Hawaii now. It's going to include past Maine. It's going to include the highest point of north that you can go, which is right between Alaska and Russia. And it's going to include the south below any border that's been shut. And then something happened. All of a sudden, 51, I want to say, 51, these angels took their stand when she said north, south, east, and west. But then 51 angels were sent, standing and recreating this entire perimeter. Now, it didn't look like what we know as the United States because it's a bigger perimeter. It has the ring of fire in it. And... All of a sudden, these angels stood about two feet lower than the angels that were activated by the worship. And they read it their sword. Now, I don't want to ever oversay anything more than what I see. Those angels now have read it their sword, and the commander angels have been assigned. Now, starting here, and how we worship is how those angels will begin to do their work in this nation. See, I would love to come and say, well, 
Us gathering here will make a nation become right. See, we left to form a nation and we never formed what we came here for. We came here that all men would be equal. We warred for freedom, we warred for taxes, but we've never seen all men become equal. We never could overcome that hump at the beginning. But now this angelic formation surrounding us, and I have never said this before, as many, many years that I've been in ministry, they're ready around this nation to redetermine how this nation will go. And I think, James, the way you led us, we can't have preconceived ideas right now. We have to do what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 10. We have to know our fills and the apostolic authority in our fills, and then we have to know what we're warring against. And we have to know that we have to dethrone all the opinions we have. We have to dethrone all the preconceived ideas we have. Because I will tell you, this meeting represents something beyond our control and ability that will happen after this meeting. And it is so key that we came as a remnant from wherever we came from to worship. Because without this worship, we will not be able to interpret the future. So, Father, I ask you right now, I first of all set a bloodline over this place. I set a bloodline over each person in this place. I set a bloodline of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth over any person aligned with any person in this place. And we welcome your surrounding. Now, that's the way I want to say it. We welcome your surrounding of a nation. And we welcome how you will proceed to either do surgery on this nation or how you will end certain things that began wrongly and start things that never have come into fullness. Now, Father, we come this morning and I think our first call is the call that we heard. We humble ourselves. And Father, you say if we humble ourselves, you'll hear us. If we turn from our wicked ways, you'll hear us. And Lord, only you can heal a land that has never healed its divisions. So Father, we thank you that you have chosen now to surround and reform the borders of this land. And you are making decisions on the future of the fields that make up this land. Father, we thank you for the open door that has been extended to you here at the Citadel. And Father, even when I say that, 
I, I hear you say, I'm evaluating strongholds. I'm evaluating voices. I'm evaluating edifices. I'm evaluating opinions. I'm remembering how a nation, the embryo of this nation, I'm remembering the heart of those that cried for the land that is now surrounded by a host of angels. I know all the violations of the land. I know how past decisions infected the land. I know how future decisions can heal the land. So Father, we submit to your kingdom authority. We submit to you looking at us as a peculiar people. One that you have chosen as a generation. Not of race, not of creed. not of religious faction, not of gender, but a chosen generation of gifts that can cause the land to prosper. Father, as we worship, we ask for those gifts to manifest in new ways. We ask Holy Spirit to infuse us with power. Father, we say, May your kingdom come in America. May your kingdom come in America. We present ourselves as a kingdom people submitted to advance your kingdom throughout this land. We lay down any thought of culture above your kingdom culture. We lay down any thought of language above your kingdom language. We lay down any ruling law that has ruled above your kingdom laws. Father, we repent for our religious political alignments. 
We say change our mind from that. Get us to a place where we don't care who votes for what. We just want to know what is the real issue behind. And Father, we take our stand today. I think we should all stand up as Judah leads us. We take our stand today and we say, your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Infuse us, Lord, the cells of our body so we carry the fragrance of your kingdom. Now let's worship.